Hi friends, and welcome back for another Reiki session. I am so glad that you came back to see me this evening. And tonight, I thought we would just do a very um, sort of comforting Reiki session. So using this to help you fall asleep, um, to help you get over a busy or stressful day or a busy or stressful week. Um, maybe you're going through something difficult or you just got some bad news or um, anything really. This session is just designed to give you a little comfort, a little bit of um, healing good energy, and maybe even just distract you for a few moments from whatever it is that's bothering you. Because sometimes we need that, right? We just need the distraction. So, that being said, um, I want to start by giving you a cup of tea. Okay. I have picked out an organic chamomile and lavender tea for you. This is my go-to tea for nighttime, so um, I love the flavor, it's just like that light lavender flavor, and the chamomile really helps to relax the senses, relax the mind, and uh, help you fall asleep at night. Okay, so we will prepare this for you. Go ahead and open it up. And then I've got this beautiful um, handmade ceramic mug that I bought at an art show. And I realized as I was collecting things for this uh, session that I had a lot of um, sort of light purple and um, pink and white clear crystals to work with. So I thought this mug, it's got that sort of beautiful pink, purple color to it. So I thought it would fit with the session. And I find this mug very calming to hold. I don't know if it's because it's handmade or a sort of slight texture. I just really, really like this mug. So I'm going to let you use it, okay? <sighs> okay. I need a deep breath, so maybe you need a deep breath. So let's breathe together for a minute. I just want you to inhale through the nose. Exhale, gentle sigh out of the mouth. Good. Let's do that again. Inhale, fill your lungs. Exhale, sigh. going to bring a little bit of aromatherapy into our breathing. So I have this lavender essential oil from Plant Therapy. I really love uh, Plant Therapy essential oils. You'll notice when you look on their website that the essential oils are different prices based on the plant. That's how, that's a good way to tell that you're getting an actual essential oil. Um, they're not all going to be the same price because not all of the plants are the same price. So, we will use a couple of drops of this to add into our session. I'm just going to put a couple on my hands. Okay, so I'm going to hold my hands right in front of your face 
And I just want you to inhale again through the nose. Exhale, gentle sigh. Good. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, nose. Exhale, gentle sigh. Good. I'm just going to come in and gently wave my hands with the oil in front of your face. Just continue to breathe nice and slow. Hopefully you're starting to feel a little calmer, a little more relaxed. Let's go ahead and light an intention candle for our session. I selected this weather oaked candle for our session this evening. go ahead and light it. This one went out on me the other day. Let's see if we can keep it lit. here that we're going to put our intention to intention into so my intention for our session today is again to just comfort you in any way that you're needing comfort whether it's something really serious that's going on or like I said just a long day I am would like for this session to comfort you, to help you relax, to help you soften into the evening. If you have your own intention that you would like to add in, just bring it to the front of your mind. Go ahead and think of it. I'm just going to pull it out and put that in the intention candle. Taking a moment to seal that intention with our collective energy. Okay. And then I'm going to set this right here because I would like to take a moment before we get started on the more energy healing aspects of this session to bring a tarot card into our session. So I have this beautiful deck called Spirit Song Tarot. And it's by Paulina Fay. And all of the cards have these beautiful animal drawings on them. I really love the design and aesthetic of this deck. So I went ahead and pulled a card for us before uh, I started the camera. 
and that is definitely helping to guide our session today. So I'm going to go ahead and share that with you. Okay, so the card, this is what the back of the cards look like. The card that I pulled for us is the Four of Acorns, which that is a walrus. And below Four of Acorns, it says comfort and community. So this drawing is so beautiful. So this is helping to guide our session, and I'll read what the card means. So it came with a little book. Okay. I'm going to hold this up so you can screenshot it if you want to, maybe. So we're over here at Four of Acorns. Maybe you're like me and someone reading to you is like in one ear out the other. And go ahead and screenshot it. Four of Acorns. The persevering walrus settles comfortably into his environment, enjoying the results of his hard work. He has established a sense of order and security in his life and celebrates personal achievement as he moves into a new phase of life. Walrus is a warden of harmonious home and work relationships. He sees beauty in everyone and recognizes the importance of community spirit. You are surrounded by joy and love. Allow this collective optimism to center you spiritually. Aspire to help those who have supported you along the way by sharing the fruits of your labor. You are moving successfully into your new direction, and all is working out as planned. Okay, so with that guiding our session this evening, we are going to do a smoke cleanse. I said we have the purple vein, so I selected this lavender incense from Satya. Lavender. I think this is the first time I've ever uh, bought lavender incense. going to use our candle to light the incense. I'm going to come in and just use this smoke to begin to cleanse your aura, your energetic body. So, again, if there's something you're thinking of that, you know, has been stressing you out lately, or something that's feeling heavy, just go ahead and sort of bring that to mind so that it's in your energetic field and the smoke can begin to clear that out. Just 
just sort of working all around your body. Allowing the smoke to envelop you and drift away from you, carrying that energy away. going to come to the crown at the third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, sacral root. Okay, coming back up here by the mind. Uh, That's good. I'm just gonna get a little bit on me. I um, have also had a little bit of heavy energy, heavy thoughts going on lately. Um, I'm gonna share this. I might cut it out later, I don't know, because maybe it's one wants to hear about it, but um, last night, so most of you probably know I live in Tennessee. I used to live in Texas, and when I lived in Texas, I lived a very different life. I was a party girl, and I went to the bars all the time, blah, blah, blah. So uh, when I lived in Galveston, I had a girl that was um, a bartender for of mine for the first 10 years I lived down there. And after I got divorced, I kind of quit hanging out in those bars, and so I didn't see her as much. Um, but for 10 years, she was like, you know, I, I told her a lot of things about my life, and I feel like we knew each other pretty well. Granted, it's been nine years since I've seen her, but um, I just found out last night that she passed away. And she was only a couple of years older than me. And so really, um, I don't know, it's kind of like hitting close to home for me. I mean, we just, we never know how much time we have, you know, and it weighed heavy on my mind last night, and this morning when I woke up, all I could think was, I'm so grateful to be awake, to be alive, to be healthy, and to be living a life that contributes to being healthy and being happy now. Um, so yeah, that's what's weighing heavy on me and that's kind of, I guess, what I'm comforting myself about. I think what I wanna do, actually, I know exactly what I wanna do. I want you to tell me what is bothering you, okay? So, whether it's super mediocre, like, you know, you just, you had a long day and you're feeling tired, right? Or whether it's you just found out that somebody passed away or that somebody is sick or that you're sick or, again, anything. Whatever is feeling a little heavy right now, I actually I want you to share it with me. I shared with you. I want you to share with me. So I have this beautiful notebook. Okay. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna write down your worries for you. And take a little bit of that energy for you and then I'll tear out this page later after our session and I will burn it in our intention candle. Probably a bigger fire. That one's not big enough, but you know what I mean. The intention will be there. So, okay. Okay. So I want you to go ahead. Tell me. Like, just, just tell me. I'm gonna listen. You don't have to say it out loud. You can think it.
heavy. I get it. Okay. So I'm going to just hold on to that for you for a little bit and then we're going to release it energetically in a fire later. Uh, well, I will. I'm not going to try to do that on camera. I will probably accidentally catch the rug on fire. So just know that I will do that for you. Let's go ahead and bring a little bit of Reiki crystal healing into the session. I'm going to start with this selenite wand. I'm just going to start to sweep away. That heavy energy. Selenite is such a beautiful stone for cleansing and clearing. It can clear our energy. It can clear our uh, the energy of other crystals. So we're just gonna let it start to sweep and just literally attract that heavy energy out of you and into the crystal. Anytime you feel like taking a deep breath, a cleansing sigh or exhale, go ahead and do it. a lot of crystals set out. I don't think I'm going to use all of them, but just the ones that feel needed in this session. One of the reasons that I love amethyst is because I feel like it is a stone that helps to soften our energy, soften our thoughts. So anytime we are going through something hard, right? It can be so... Um, and that something feels heavy. I feel like amethyst can be really beneficial to allow us to be a little softer with ourselves and our thoughts. I'm going to use this amethyst to channel Reiki into your energetic body. So I'm going to come here by the third eye. Pushing that in. Also gonna come down here by the heart. 
with the amethyst. Massaging that in, sort of helping the heart to lighten and soften from heavy emotions. Okay. I also have a piece of clear quartz. We are going to use the clear quartz to amplify the uh, amethyst, and I'm just going to palpate your energetic body using the body with the energy of these crystals. So keep relaxing, keep breathing. other crystal I want to use is another little piece of amethyst. A little slab of amethyst druze. And we're still working with that energy of the amethyst, but I also want to begin to sort of just gently comb and massage your energetic body. So the little terminal points on here are going to gently massage the energetic body. Comb out any knots, stuck, stagnant energy. Help to get everything flowing. to the crown of your head, massage the actual physical scalp here just really gently. Coming from crown all the way down to the are you feeling? Pretty good. Are you starting? Are you comfortable? Are you feeling a little sleepy? Okay, good. Well, so I think I have two things left I want to do. The first, and I don't want to forget, I kind of meant to do this at the beginning, but I forgot. I picked a flower for you. I mean, it's a flower. Who doesn't love a flower? So, uh, my last little round of flowers in my garden are starting to uh, wilt and come to an end, but that is okay. They have been so beautiful all summer and they've attracted all sorts of butterflies and bees into the garden and it's just been really fun to witness these flowers growing up in the garden. I planted them from seed. I thought I would give you a flower to 
You want to smell it? So that's for you. We'll put it over here by your tea. And then I think we'll end with a little physical and energetic massage. Help you fall asleep. I have my amethyst infused oil. Have our little crystals at the bottom. We'll use this oil just to give you a little massage. start on the right side of your face, so right by your temple. Down the jawbone, cheekbone. And then coming to the left side. And then coming to the brow. Under the eyes. The nose. The lips. Top of the forehead. Front side of the body. is going to be it for this evening. I hope that that session brought you some comfort. If you enjoyed it and you're still awake, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, subscribe. All of these things are so helpful for my channel. And the last thing I would like to ask you to do if you're still awake is if you'll go to the community tabs. I asked in a post recently for ideas for um, topics or things you would like me to cover in these Reiki sessions. I would really love to get you guys involved in the, um, the content that I'm sharing. So any request on a certain topic or something you want me to cover, I would really appreciate it if you could go into my little community tab and find that post. It's the most recent post. Um, I posted it October 1st of 2024, so if you could go and just leave a comment um, of something you might want to see or something you'd like me to talk about, I would really, really appreciate that. Okay? All right.